bikin uh cupcake so my manager or the uh, boss over at Denning he ordered all these drill hammers the wrong size so he had me make them the right size instead of just um, getting the right ones. Anyway, that's what I'm doing there. I had to grind down the carbides and the, and the steel hammer, uh, so I had to keep changing out the bit on the grinder in order to do that. That pretty well explains the difference between our two cats. Roxy's like chowing down and Lizzie's just licking along, getting, ooh. Cupcake. Um, Lizzie's just licking along, just enjoying it, but Roxy's like, nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm gonna make some healthy pancakes. And what I first need to do is mix together all the dry ingredients um, in a like mixing bowl. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start out with um, one quarter cup of wheat flour. Then do a quarter cup of oat flour. Um, and a, a cheap way to acquire this is to buy um, just regular oats and then put them through your blender. It'll turn them into flour. And then half a cup of regular flour. Um, just white flour because that way you got a little bit of grabbiness there. Um, I found without the white flour they kind of fall apart more easily. Um, then I've got one tablespoon of baking powder. Um, I've got my half tablespoon measure, so there's one, two, half tablespoon, and then something I like to add is um, some sugar. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon of sugar. Just gotta mix that all together. Okay. I'm set that aside. Set that aside. Okay, keep those out, get that out of the way. Now, for the liquid, I've got milk, applesauce, an egg, and vanilla. Um, and we're just going to mix all that together right in the measuring cup. So we're going to start with one cup of milk. Sauces replacing what you would use with the oil that you usually use. Um, basically, 
basically just as much honey as you feel like. So I'm just going to put in a nice good squeeze. And then we're going to mix that all up again. Make sure that egg yolk pops because otherwise it will be floating around in there. And if you can find local honey, that's actually going to be a lot better because local honey will help with your allergies or allergies of those you uh, live with or whatever. And then just pour that together into the dry ingredients. Mix them until they're nice and well mixed. Um, generally, there is a point at which you've overmixed and it'll kind of cause your pancakes to turn rubbery. So you just want to get it so that all the flour is mixed in and you have a nice good consistency. Okay, so now that we've got everything uh, mixed together, we're going to go ahead and start making the pancakes. Uh, you want to cook them about medium heat. Um, depending on your stove, you might have to adjust this a little bit. But um, I'm going to use, on our, our stove, I'm going to use about setting four, four and a half, somewhere in there. Um, and you always want to make your sacrificial pancake first, which is going to be the one you're going to test the time, the heat, everything else. So don't add your chocolate chips to your first pancake. So let's go ahead and get my quarter cup measuring device and go ahead and pour one in there and we just go ahead and let that cook for a minute Now there's a couple different schools of thought as far as when a pancake is done cooking. And there's the first one which is when the bubbles stop. But then there's another which is the one I use more so is when the sides are just a little bit cooked and starting to uh, change color. That's when I like to flip it. And that's just me personally. You can do it whichever way you like. you can see that the bubbles have stopped collapsing in on themselves and generally that would be a sign that they're ready to flip but like I said I look at the edges of the pancake and that's how I like to tell when um, they're ready to go so all right there we go we're just gonna slide right under there and we're gonna give it a nice little flip and look at that beautiful color so I'm just go ahead and check that again all right, we're looking good, and you just set it aside into another pan or something that, preferably with a lid that you can use to keep it nice and warm, um, but you don't want to seal it because then you'll get a lot of humidity and they'll turn soggy. So let's go ahead and add in the next chocolate, the next pancake, and we'll add some chocolate chips. <laughs> Like I said, there's two schools of thought, and now there's actually a third. And this is another one I like to do is when the chocolate is melted, that's a good time to flip it as well. Okay, all of our chocolate chips are nice and melty, so I'm just going to get the slip right under here. Again, a very nice color we've got. All right, so while those are cooking, um, I'm just going to tell um, the chocolate chips we're using are the 60% uh, dark cacao um, chocolate chips. And the reason we're using the dark ones is because they're a little bit healthier than milk chocolate or white chocolate. Well, they're way healthier than white chocolate. That's just uh, cocoa fat and um, milk and sugar. Um, whereas milk chocolate is uh, the regular cocoa and milk and sugar and then the dark chocolate is just the chocolate that's all it is um, and so we're using these they're a little healthier and we're trying to make healthy pancakes so we've got the whole wheat the oat flour which is adding a ton of protein and they're the whole wheat's got a lot of fiber and protein and we're using applesauce so we're not using any oil 
Um, we're using honey, which is going to, it's a, it's a healthier, it's a healthy sweetener, and it's going to help with your local allergies if you get local honey. And then we've got um, milk, which is good for you. And um, it's just, it's a very healthy pancake. And it's um, a very good pancake. Megan and I, we eat these all the time. All right, so what I'm doing here today is um, we're creating uh, screens that go down into the bottom of the well to keep the sand from going up into the well and um, getting into your home and through your faucet and everything. And so uh, my boss asked me to come in and to uh, build them all today. So I built 10 of these and here's just a little bit of how I did it. Lizzie loves playing or sitting in the windows and watching what's going on outside. And right now, she's watching these children out there. Um, here, look. Yeah, they made a slide out of this uh, snow mountain. And they climb up and they slide down and they seem to have a lot of fun on it. It's really kind of funny. <laughs> 